Thieves are targeting small businesses across the metro area at an alarming rate, and those with ATMs are especially popular. A CBS4 investigation from Karen Morfin has uncovered the extensive scope and danger involving this problem. She joins us in the studio with more on these findings, and Karen, investigators believe the thieves have likely stolen or gotten away with more than a million dollars. That's right, Karen, and to get to that number, you can imagine just how many thefts have to occur, right? So business owners we know have been told that that this is happening, but none of them that we spoke to were aware of just how big this criminal operation is and that really no business is off limits in any part of the metro area as long as they offer an ATM. Liquor stores, bars, marijuana shops, you name it. If the signs are there, thieves probably have their eye on it. At first I thought I was a target for, you know, for no apparent reason. Gerum Alamahu, who owns g and &E Liquors, was not the target, but the ATM inside was. That's apparent from surveillance video showing an SUV ramming through the front of his store to get to it. It took us three weeks to clean up and, uh, you know, bring things to, together. In Westminster, a similar scene. Thieves used a chain to rip out an ATM bolted to the floor. This marijuana shop was warned and moved their ATM one night before thieves broke through their window. I would say almost every law enforcement agency from uh, local, state, federal are all somehow impacted by this. Division Chief Mark Hildebrand oversees the investigations unit for Aurora Police. He says they're now investigating more than 75 similar thefts since August. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have been taken uh, in, in Aurora. It may, it may be into the millions. They're now working with multiple jurisdictions across the metro area, each one seeing small groups of thieves masked, gloved, and in stolen cars searching for ATMs. One theory is that they're potentially are somehow connected to a larger organization. They do know they're armed, connecting a recent break-in where a large amount of guns were stolen to the same groups, heightening the risk to the public and the potential for these smash and grabs to escalate. If they're interrupted by a citizen or the business owner, uh, what's going to happen next? In Aurora, they're now putting more officers in a position to better protect those business owners. We are scared to, you know, leave your business when you go home and you say, oh, I might get a call. Is, are they going to break it again? Now, I also asked about concerns we have heard from sources within APD about pursuit policies specific to property crimes that officers are saying have kept them from going after some of these thieves. Hildebrand says while there are restrictions, he wasn't aware of any messaging for officers not to intervene in any situation. Now, we're waiting to hear back from other agencies about their case numbers and their efforts to stop this growing issue. Karen, we know that uh, you'll stay on this and more things to come. Absolutely. Thank yeah, thank you so much.